never trust a tourist advertisement. Now get out! At last, Mr. Charles Reed. What a pleasure to finally meet you in the flesh. Nice to meet you. Uh... Johannes Vanderberg, at your service. I did promise to meet you the moment you arrived. Ah, much obliged, Mr. Vanderberg. I guess I didn't expect you to mean so literally. Please call me Johannes. But where are my manners? Welcome to the proud city of Oakmont. Alas, now is not its finest hour, though it is its most important. You said you know someone who can help me with my problem. The visions have been getting worse. He has dedicated a lot of time and effort to investigate this issue. Alas, I fear he has a more pressing matter on his hands. How can I find Mr. Throgmorton? Don't worry, you can't miss him. Throgmorton tends to... <laughs> stand out from the crowd. I'll need a place to lay my head while I'm here. Any recommendations? Fear not. I've already feathered a nest for you. There's a room in your name at the Devil's Reef Hotel. Here's the key. Sounds... charming. Don't judge a book by its cover, Mr. Reed. What's the best way to get around Oakmont? I'd like to drop my things at the hotel. Most locals go by foot. Or by boat. I've got the latter sorted for you. There's one waiting outside the port. <sighs> You're too kind, Johannes. Can you steer me towards the Devil's Reef? Take this map. I've marked the hotel and a few other key places. Well, that's it for now, I think. Uh, thanks for helping me get my bearings. No, no. The pleasure was mine, Mr. Reed. Oh, before you go, how can I get in touch with you later? Don't worry about that. I'm the kind of man who finds you. I don't care about your petty excuses. No one leaves the port until my son is found, and that is fine. Uh, <clears throat> uh, excuse me. Are you Robert Throgmorton? I am, but not interested. Go away. The name's Charles Reed. I'm a private investigator, just arrived from Boston. I was told you might be able to help me. Private investigator, you say? Well, perhaps we can help each other. If I may ask, what happened to your son? Why do you care? What's your angle, outsider? Well, like I said, I'm a PI. Finding people is kind of my specialty. Is it? Well, Albert was part of a deep-sea expedition I commissioned. This useless fool over here says he found Albert washed ashore in a lifeboat. Says he was barely conscious, out of his mind, talking gibberish in some other language. But he even tried to bite him. And you don't believe him? Complete malarkey. I know my Albert. I raised him strong and smart, the best of his kind. It couldn't have been him. Albert's disappearance is the work of Innsmouthers. Mark my words. I've heard you're the man to speak to about visions. Outbreak. Uh, uh, I take it. Uh, so they're just... <laughs> not to mention Mr. Thro what me? Let's ver. I need to take this anything. clearly. As much as I'm enjoying. Find my son. Huh. 
This dog mat looks better than the owner's bed. Take tremendous effort to move this thing, let alone tossing <laughs> Let's it over see what like you this. Find. There was a fierce fight here, but someone tried to flee. Hello? Hey, can you hear me? Ah. Uh, oh my. It's okay. Oh. I want. I don't. Then he came back. Then what? We put the guy in. Hmm. Tell me about it. Where are all the uh, and I, Do you know how Paul- I- Who is this- I'll, Sorry. I'll leave you- Please! I don't know yet, Will. The police will stop anyone coming- <sighs> Choo choo. Ahem. <clears throat> seen knives like seems like prohibition hasn't affected Oakmont too much Recognize the face of the poor fella. He was beaten to a pulp. Take this, ape face. not himself. He attacked the fishermen and his hysteria spread to them. When he got wounded, he fled. Take tremendous effort to move this thing, let alone tossing it over like this.
So the fishermen pursued Albert, even let off a few shots. Robert wasn't exaggerating when he said he raised him strong. 